Birbal's wit. Scene 1. The Palace Gardens. Akbar and some of his courtiers are looking at the roses. Where's Birbal? I have not seen him since this morning. We have not seen him either, Badsha. A messenger said he had gone out, very busy counting crows. Well, so he has taken the challenge seriously. Do none of you wish to compete for the prize? We are beaten, my lord. You have set an impossible task. We tried and gave up. Did you really expect an answer, your highness? Or was it a joke? Man Singh, wait and watch. The deadline is 7 o'clock. There is at least an hour left. 3,000 gold coins and a bag of precious jewels are not to be sneezed at. I'm sure thousands of people in the capital are out counting the crows. <laughs> an hour later. It's time. How many want to win the prize? Open the gates and let's see how many have their answers ready. There's nobody outside the gates, my lord. Nobody? Not a single person has taken up the challenge? I'm disappointed. Oh, who's this hurrying through the gates? Why, it's Birbal. <laughs> Welcome, Birbal. I guess you too have no answer. Was the prize too small to tempt you? My lord, a challenge is a challenge. The amount of the prize does not matter. And I have the exact answer. At 6 o'clock today, there were exactly 21,412 crows in the capital. Shall we check? Certainly, my lord. Of course, some crows may have left the city to visit their relatives in another town. But then it is also likely some others may have flown in for the weekend. I am absolutely certain. However, that at the last count at 6 o'clock, there were exactly 21,412 crows in the capital. <laughs> Birbal, you are the life of this court. Bring the prize. Scene 2. A room in the palace. A few days later, Akbar and the queen are eating mangoes. Birbal, two other ministers and three or four servants are also in the room. Birbal is sitting closest to Akbar. Birbal, will you not join us? The mangoes are really sweet. My lord, they are from Lucknow, especially sent for you. I find pleasure in seeing you enjoy them. As usual, you know how to turn a refusal into a compliment. Playfully, Akbar scrapes all the mango peels and seeds from his plate onto the queen's while she isn't looking. Begum, it seems that you were starving for mangoes. Looks like you've eaten quite a few. What do you say, Birbal? Oh! Badsha, I think it was you who was starving for mangoes, while the Begum Sahiba enjoyed the pulp and the juice. Sir, you have swallowed the peels and the seeds as well. <laughs> <laughs> for your wit, Birbal, I will send you a basket full of Lucknowi mangoes. <laughs>